just knocked me with his horn. That's not good. This is my 25 year old paint horse. Her name is. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back. We have 50 plus animals on this property and today you're gonna be meeting them all. I am so excited for this video and if you are too, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below so that you don't miss anything. Let's go. I hear a cat stuck in the barn, so I'm gonna go let her out quick. Come on. What were you doing in the barn? Okay, we're gonna start off with the horses. I have a bunch of treats to give them. So we're gonna go down into the pasture and meet the horses. They're probably gonna be pretty dirty because it's been muddy out lately. Hello, you want a treat? Good girl. Oh, she's peeing. You done? Okay. She is so muddy. Look at that mud. Okay, we're gonna start with the dominant horse. All of my horses are mares. This is my 25 year old paint horse. Her name is Spots. She is getting up there in years and she also has arthritis. So I don't ride her much anymore. And I give her so much love and attention. And sometimes my seven year old sister will ride her. I've had her for over two years now. She was my first normal sized horse. She's a dominant horse, which means she is always the first to get the treats and all the food because she's basically the leader of all the other horses. She is just over 14.2 hands. So she is just barely a horse size. She is really so pretty and I love her so much. Even when she's covered in mud. <laughs> And then this girl right here, this is Selena. I got her over a year ago and she is an 18 year old quarter horse. She also has some thoroughbred in her. I am really bonded to Selena and I love her so much and she is so sweet and I will probably never sell her. She is just such a good girl. She is 19 years old. She was also bred by a really big breeder and she went to a lot of places before she came to me. She was bred as a professional show horse but I don't know if she was ever really in that many shows. She does sometimes get spooky and scares at things. She gets especially afraid of horses with carts. So she definitely has a history. I love her to death. I would love to ride her bareback, but she has the most uncomfortable withers ever. So it takes a lot of work to be able to feel comfortable riding her bareback. I do have a bareback saddle too, so that helps, but I just love this girl so much. And she is just the sweetest girl. She's my little baby. There's an airplane. <laughs> Gotta wait for that. Hurry up. Now it's time to meet who I think is gonna be everyone's favorite. This is our mini horse, America. She is just the sweetest girl. She's not even two years old, so she's still a filly yet. She is so sweet and she gets so energetic. She has such a big personality and we love her so much. She is my little sister's mini horse, but I've been working on training her. She is doing so well. America got her name because when she was just the tiniest baby, we went to her farm and we chose her. And the day that we went to go look at her was on the 4th of July. So we thought America suited her perfectly. And she is definitely a firework, that's for sure. What are you doing? She wants more treats, of course. Whenever I'm recording a video, she always follows me everywhere. Okay, so quite a few of the cats have been following me around, so we're gonna meet some of them quick. This is Twilight. She is our mama cat. She has had most of the kittens that we have here. This is Cheetah. She's another one of our mom cats. And then here's Hermione. She has just started having kittens of her own. This is Nugget. He's one of Twilight's kittens from this spring. And then this here is Peach. She is so cute. I think she looks like a little red panda. So the barn cats are really good at just keeping all of the mice away. The barn cats are mine and they're all extremely friendly and I love it when we have kittens in the spring. But we haven't seen a mouse or a rat in the barns for the longest time since we have gotten our cats. So they do really good at keeping all of the rodents away. Next we have the pigs. I'm afraid to go in their area right now because they are kind of muddy. So our pigs are Cooney Coonies. This guy 
that is orange his name is fig and then this other one is lola she's a girl so we have a girl and a boy so that hopefully we'll be able to have piglets next year both of our pigs are so sweet and they're just like dogs they're really so sweet we feed them all of our table scraps these pigs are really the best pigs we've ever had and we've had a lot of pigs in our past we are really excited to have piglets eventually unfortunately the mud is horrible right now Okay, so the ducks I think are pretty annoying because they're always getting into the cat food. So this barn door always needs to be closed when the cats are eating so that they don't eat it all. We used to have more ducks, but now we're just down to two. It's actually a male and a female, so maybe the female will hatch some eggs this spring. We'll just have to see. But these ducks, they basically just roam around anywhere and do whatever they want. They have plenty of room for shelter and water all throughout the farm. So I'm just gonna warn you guys that this barn is not perfect. The lighting in there is not great and the chicken area definitely needs cleaned. So it is a little bit dirty but it's a barn so we're gonna go inside and i'm gonna show you the chickens now okay the chickens are pretty excited right now because they think i'm feeding them but we have about 20 chickens and really they don't have any names because we have so many of them and it's pretty hard to tell them apart but i'm just gonna show you the chickens quick hey don't peck me that was mean. This chicken is definitely my favorite. She's so pretty. Then this guy right here, hey, it just jumped up and pecked me. Don't do that. Then this guy right here is our rooster. So we obviously have our chickens to lay our eggs and they do pretty good at that in the summer, but in the winter, they don't lay very much. So we're only getting a couple eggs a day right now, but hopefully in the spring, they will pick back up again. So in the winter, we keep them in this area in the barn. And then in the summer, we let them go out all throughout the day and be free range and eat all the bugs and they really enjoy it. So once it is spring, we will be letting all the chickens outside again okay now we're gonna do something exciting we are going to meet the cows I'm on top of the gate right now but I think we have six cows we will be giving them a new bale of hay tonight so I'm sure you'll be able to see that in this video too they go through hay really quickly so three of our cows are highlands we also have one jersey and then we have two other cows that are mixes so let's go meet them first up this is our bull his name is Rocky he is the newest addition to our farm every once in a while we need to rotate our bull so that we're not breeding our bull to his daughter so this is our newest one he is a mini and he is pretty sweet he's very chill and calm he's only about two or three years old but he is just so cute and i really like his personality our last bull was very crazy and hyper and he broke everything so i'm glad this guy is more calm this is rosie she is one of our older cows we had a jersey cow named violet a long time ago and this was her first baby rosie so she's part jersey part angus hi buddy what you doing? <laughs> Coming to say hi? Don't do that. He just knocked me with his horn. That's not good. You're stronger than you know. So Rosie is pregnant right now. She's gonna have a baby in the spring and we are really excited for that. She is bred to our bull Rocky here. And then our next one is Bonnie. She is a calf from last year. We bought her last spring and she is so sweet. She loves to get pet and she loves attention. And she is just such a, <laughs> what are you doing? That's how she scratches herself. She doesn't have horns to scratch herself with, so she scratches herself with her tongue. I love her little bun. I think all jerseys have that. Rosie's got a little bit of one too. This is Gertie. She is our oldest cow here. She is a mini Highland cow and she is the sweetest ever. She's like a dog. She is super friendly. She is pregnant with a calf as well. Also from Rocky, our bull. But Gertie is definitely the favorite cow here. She is just so sweet. This one right here is Gertie's calf from this year. He is the cutest thing ever. He is a little shy of me right now, but I'm hoping by the end of the winter, he will be friendly just like his mom. His father is our last bull, Fergus. 
and this is Rosie's calf from this spring. He is also super cute. And because Rosie is part Jersey and part Angus, this guy is a quarter Angus, a quarter Jersey, and a half Highland. But yeah, those are all of our cows. You're such a sweet girl. That bull, for some reason, really wants to come up to me and I do not want him swinging his horns at me anymore. So I'm going to leave and show you the next animals. Oh, hi, Moana. Hi, girl. <laughs> Belle, you got a loud bark. That's the bark I hear every night right outside my window. Okay, now we're gonna meet the dogs. All of our dogs are Great Pyrenees dogs. We have four of them, so I'm gonna have you meet two of them first, but first I need to get them in the barn before dad gets over here with the tractor. Okay, we're in the barn now. We're gonna meet the first two dogs. First up, this is Belle. She is the newest one here. She is still a puppy. She's not even a year old yet. She is very crazy, but she's also huge. She's almost bigger than Moana. She's definitely gonna be one of the biggest dogs here. But even though she's very crazy, she's also super sweet. Okay, and this one over here is Moana. She is our first dog. She is so calm and loyal. She is definitely the lead dog out of all of the dogs here. She's very sweet and calm and incredible with children. She is just the sweetest girl ever. We all just love Moana so much and we don't know what we'd do without her. Okay, the goats were being really loud in there so I had to go out, but Moana has had, I think, four litters of puppies and I think she is now done. All of our dogs are Great Pyrenees dogs, like I said before, so they are a breed of guard dogs. Great Pyrenees dogs are very sweet and very loyal and they are are huge dogs. They weigh anywhere between 80 and 100 pounds. Okay, I'm not gonna go in there right now because this dog is very crazy and I know he will get mud all over me, but this is Maui. He is our male dog. Even though he's like four years old, he is still very crazy and still acts a lot like a puppy, even really more so than Belle. The reason he is not in with the other girls right now is because we do not need puppies, but we do have our other dog, Jasmine, in there with him. She is spayed, so she cannot get pregnant. So her and Maui are together as friends, and then Moana and Belle are together. Jasmine is definitely camera shy. She's right there behind me. But yeah, we love Jasmine a lot. She also has one eighth of Anatolian Shepherd in her, so that's why she has the darker markings on her face. nothing in there. You're not gonna find anything, Rosie. There's nothing in there. I'm sorry, there's nothing in there. You can't have it, there's nothing in it. There they go, now they got hay. Okay, so I think we're almost done. It's definitely getting dark. I think the last animals I need to introduce you to are the goats. So the goats are all mine, it's kind of my little business. I breed the females and sell all the babies. I didn't really get any good videos of the goats while I was recording this video, so I'm gonna introduce you to them using some better clips. First up, this is Tulip, then this is Lily and Rose is behind her, this is Romeo, our buck. Then we have Bella and Anna and Laura. These two are sisters. And then this is our Weather Brownie. Weathers are basically just fixed males. Then this is Buttercup with her babies from the spring. Buttercup is definitely the leader. And then we have Poppy. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to sell all of our baby goats this fall. We learned our lesson not to have babies in the fall, but just in the spring. So we have three little boys left for them. <laughs> There must be coyotes nearby. Because they're going crazy. These are our three little babies. Their names are Sven, Mickey, and Woody. So all our goats are really sweet and incredibly nice. When kids come, they always love to pet the goats and feed them. The dogs are being really annoying right now. 
So those are all of the animals we have as of right now. I hope you enjoyed meeting all of them. Out of all of the animals, the ones that I personally own are the horses, the goats, and the cats. All the other animals are my parents. I give them all so much attention and definitely most of these animals would not be friendly if I wasn't here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below which one of the animals you enjoyed meeting the most and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any farm content. Love from our farm to your home.